Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Sign Beauty. This month we are talking all about the Pisces. Now the colors this month were really beautiful to play with. It's actually this kind of warm brown right here and this kind of metallic khaki green brown. So those were two fun colors to play around with to create this look. I'm really happy with how it turned out, so if you want to see how I created it, all of the products that I use, and of course to learn a little bit more about the Pisces with me, then keep on watching. All right, we're gonna jump right in and start by priming the face. And while I am getting my base complexion all sorted out, let's learn a little bit more about the Pisces. Now, the Pisces are the ultimate dreamers. They are sensitive, emotional, and they are super creative down to their core. They're often said to be very intuitive as well. But on the negative side of things, sometimes they can be known as a little bit lazy or too mellow or even a little submissive. And one famous Pisces to make note of is Miss Oprah herself. Do these qualities sound like you? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Now let's dive into the rest of this tutorial. Starting here with a little bit of under eye concealer. Now you'll notice the color here is quite similar to my skin tone. I'm not trying to overly brighten with this concealer. Um, I really find that this to be a more effective way to cover dark circles. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit while I move on to my brows, just using my angled brow pencil to give some hair strokes into the brows and get them a little bit of a more defined shape. And then going in with a brow gel to lift the hairs themselves and lock the shape in place. And now going in with my concealer brush to just blend out the edges and get everything smoothed and prepped for the application of blush. Using a cream blush here for kind of a dewy, softer finish. Although this color looks very bright, once it's blended out, it becomes a really soft, pale pink. Using my Holy Grail Cookie Highlighter by Benefit, I'm using that to set the lid, but also to give a beautiful base of shimmer that I can go and add my eyeshadow on top of. So this is uh, the color from the palette. This is the Pisces shade, and it is kind of a khaki, kind of a greenish brown, and it does have a shimmer to it. It actually went on quite a bit darker than I was expecting. Um, and again, it's a very cool kind of bronzy khaki color. Uh, I really like it, but again, it came off a little bit greener than I was expecting on the lid. And then I went back in with the same cookie highlighter and highlighted underneath the brow bone and kind of just tried to marry that color into my skin and taking the cookie highlighter again into the inner corner to brighten there as well. Now I am going in with a metallic liner. This one's by Urban Decay and I'm tracing just above my crease line. So I've got my eye open and then right above that crease I am tracing a nice kind of thin line of that gold metallic. So it gives kind of a graphic look there. Then I went in with my lash primer to just give my lashes a little bit extra thickness before I went in with my mascara. And again, this is my Holy Grail mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. Cannot get enough of this stuff. Then lastly on the eyes, I went in with a brown liner on the lower lash line just to give a little bit more dimension and tie the drama of the top into the lower lash line as well. I decided I wanted to keep the lip sheer and also glossy, so I went in with the Fenty Gloss Balm in a brown color. It doesn't read brown on the lips necessarily, but it gives a cooler tone, trying to match the cooler tone of the eyes. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this look. Be sure you like, follow, and subscribe, and I'll see you next month for another Star Sign Beauty.